and thanks very much for coming back for another Retro Fridays. I look forward every single week to doing these. Love hanging out with you all because I set this up, of course, as a premiere every week. It stays up on my channel afterwards, but I set it up as a premiere every week so that I can come on and interact with you all in the live chat. So everybody, welcome. Some of you, as I know, come along and bring snacks like popcorn and stuff like that. That is, I just think that's absolutely so beyond cool. So thank you so much. Uh, enjoy your snacks if you uh, have any. So tonight I have picked, as I suppose, as I would say in Ireland, a cracker one. And not only have I picked a cracker one, <laughs> I picked a classic, really cool, old retro movie indeed from 1995. As you can tell from the title anyway, guys, Judge Dredd, with lead character played by Sylvester Stallone. He, of course, plays uh, Joseph or Judge Dredd. And what a cool character he is. And of course, this is based off a comic book character from comics. And I don't know, is it just me, guys? But I know this might sound a bit silly or random, but I am random. But I've always thought it would be really cool to have like a, like a movie or even like one season of a series of the character Judge Dredd, Hellboy and Spawn and of course I reviewed Spawn last week for my uh, Retro Fridays pick so if you haven't actually seen that you can go and watch it. It is on my Retro Fridays list on uh, my channel and I want to really quickly um, give credit to the music first by Alan Silvestri which kind of sounds like Sylvester as in Sylvester Stallone, Alan Silvestri because the music in this movie, I think, is phenomenal. It's top notch. It's perfection from beginning to end. It super, super suits the movie, which I really appreciate. There's no moments in the movie where I didn't like the music, um, especially in many of the action scenes, like, you know, toward the end, well, pretty much at the very end of the movie, when he's on the really, is really cool black and gold bike, which I absolutely have always, always wanted. I always say, if I become a millionaire, I want Judge Dredd's bike, you know, the bikes that the, all the judges use, the um, the gold and the black. Stunning. Rose gold and purple are my two favourite colours. Purple's my favourite colour, rose gold's my second favourite, right? At the minute, anyhow. But anyway, in that action scene with uh, him and Herman, I just think that the music is phenomenal, absolutely fantastic, and they're going around the city and everything, but I will get to that scene later, because it's one of my favourite uh, scenes, and I really love it. But the music, uh, Alan also did, did music for um, Roger Rabbit, Back to the Future actually as well he done, and also Captain America the First Avenger, because I am a huge Marvel fan and I think his music's uh, amazing, so I just thought for any Marvel fans and stuff like that, that if you didn't know that, that I thought that I would let you know because I knew that, but you know, I just thought that I would throw that in. You probably do know that and you're like, Julie, stop talking. This film was directed by Danny Cannon and he actually also worked on, you know, the DC series Gotham. I don't know if all of you have seen Gotham, but I absolutely loved Gotham. I thought that that was a really uh, fantastic series and I really, really thought that Catwoman was really killing cool it. I thought she was fantastic, a uh, little young version of Catwoman. I thought they were all great. But anyways, uh, moving on. I am going to really quickly sell this to anybody who right now has not seen this movie because on a lot of my Retro Fridays, some people, even if it's a, like a classic, they're like, I haven't I've never seen this movie. And then they end up actually going to eBay, buying the DVD, and they're like, thanks, Julie. <laughs> that movie was amazing. So if you haven't seen it, I'm going to easy sell it to you. And I'm sorry to have to use... Rotten Tomatoes in any sentence involving Sylvester Stallone because Sylvester Stallone is an absolute legend. I am obsessed with Sylvester Stallone. Rocky's my all-time favourite movie in the world if anybody is interested. I also did a retro Friday of Rambo First Blood. But I'm going to sell it super quick to you guys if you haven't seen it. This movie has 17% on Rotten Tomatoes which proves that you know it's going to be an awesome classic, brilliant movie because Rotten Tomatoes is just... A heap of nonsense. So hopefully that has uh, <laughs> sold it to you. This movie is amazing. It is a fantastic, fun movie. It's classic. The best way for me to describe it is, I mean, it is obviously a science fiction movie, right? But if someone asked me, well, quickly describe it, I would say it's science fiction mixed with a ton of action. It is jam-packed full of action. The action in this movie is fantastic. Action, cool action scenes and full of cheese. I mean, the one... 
the one-liners that Sylvester comes off with, I think it's really cool that they incorporated that into it, that we also have humour in this uh, science fiction movie and so much action going on with just pure cheese. You know, um, you have them saying things like court adjourned and stuff and it's just absolutely hilarious. And then we have the character Herman, you know, even making fun of Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Uh, say like oh well, mister i am the law i am the law i think that's absolutely just absolutely fantastic and you know what guys this movie to me was way ahead of its time like men that's not this isn't the only movie that i felt was ahead of its time many years ago there's so many movies like this old retro movies that were ahead of its time like when i when you look at this movie now even if you watch it like tomorrow night or whatever right just come back and tell me would you have guessed that that movie was made in 1995? Because when you watch it, you sort of go to yourself like, wow, like that was made in 1995. Wow. You know, and even things like uh, R Rico, who's of course the villain in this movie and Sylvester Stallone ends up finding out that of course, not only is he the villain, but it's his brother. That robot, like what a cool sidekick, by the way, to incorporate into this movie. But that was, must have been so monotonous and like intricate to actually put in this movie like back in 1995 guys and you look at that robot that robot is insanely cool and still looks insanely cool now nothing wrong with it and there's nothing wrong with the visuals at all the whole way throughout this movie and what i love about this movie is it very much so still stands up today it uses visual effects it uses practical effects and see even in terms of Maybe not so much the city, but obviously uh, the city's super cool. But you know the actual streets in the city, especially at the very end. If you've seen this movie, just kind of think about the end of the movie, the streets and everything when it ends. I swear, like, it really reminds me now of Jim Cameron's A Little Battle Angel, kind of-esque in ways. And even as, way, as well, when I'm watching through this movie, very much with the start, there's certain sentence, sentence in this movie are amazing. There's certain sentence in this movie, guys, is it just me? Feel free to laugh or feel free to disagree and go, Julie, just shut your goddamn mouth. But, you know, uh, The Mandalorian, obviously, Star Wars uh, series. It kind of gives me those kind of vibes in terms of sort of the look and feel and how it's shot of certain sentence when you're watching the film. Or it's just me or am I just talking other nonsense? But to me, there's like just certain parts of the, this is say, like the streets and stuff that remind me like of A Little Battle Angel. And that is the thing that annoys me and frustrates me is the fact that this was, you know, visual and, you know, practical effects. Disney and things like that and other, you know, companies are bringing out movies and using a ton of just CGI. And you say to yourself, this movie, Judge Dredd, was made back in 1995. And it's a sci-fi movie. Star Wars is obviously sci-fi as well, right? So you say to yourself, do they not sit back and use movies like Judge Dredd as an example? Do you know, I, I don't know if, it, if it's just me, but that's just kind of my thinking. I think that they should take a leaf out of the books of this kind of movie and also Jim Cameron, like a little battle angel. You know, look at how well that movie was done. And it wasn't splashed full of a ton of, you know, CGI or whatever. It wasn't like overpowered, you know what I mean? But at the very end, which is one of my favourite scenes that I want to talk about, I'm excited to talk about it. Do you know at the very, very end of the movie, where Sylvester Stallone is on his bike that is not his, it's, it should be mine. <laughs> he goes along and uh, it's the very, very end, end scene, right? And it's a sort of like a side view and he's on his black and gold bike that, you know, he really should just give me at this stage, you know, because he doesn't need it. And uh, the visuals, oh my gosh, and it's stunning, the backdrop, it's all like the clouds and everything. And that did really, does really remind me of a little looking back at it now, obviously. I watch this movie at least two times a year. Not gonna lie, sometimes I'm tempted to watch three times, but normally I like to keep it to one or two times a year, mostly two times, because I don't want to like like watch it loads of times every year to overkill it. Not that I would ever get bored of this movie, but that's a, it's it's so fun. This thing about the movie is, although I've seen this movie tons of times, gosh knows how many times, you never get bored of it. That's the thing about it, is it's enjoyable no matter how many times you've seen it. And that's hard to do just in general. You know, there's movies that you watch and you go, okay, I could watch that maybe three or four times and, you know, that'll do. But to me, with this one, I will never get sick of this. I'll still be watching this in 10 years' time, do you know? But that end scene with the clouds and everything and just visually, 
it always takes my breath away and I'm sorry to get all like mushy or whatever but it always wows me you know what hats off to everybody who worked on this movie I think the movie's fantastic it has a fantastic cast it has brilliant settings and look at the city the city is fantastic and it very much reminds me of Fifth Element which I would love to do for um, a, a retro Friday and also Blade 2049 it's kind of like in between do you know what I mean like the city and everything is just absolutely um phenomenal so basically um the premise of this movie for anybody who hasn't seen it um i would definitely first of all say i highly highly cannot recommend this movie enough especially if you like sci-fi if you like blade 2049 as i say you know sci-fi is stuff and action and sylvester stallone basically the premise of it is the world has gone to shit basically and uh there is judges uh, hence the the name of the movie called judge dread and basically what they do is it's not sort of like police inform enforcement in terms of you know they question you they arrest you they put you in handcuffs and send you away to jail or they might say okay you're gonna have to wait a while and go to court or whatever it doesn't work like that basically to cut out time what they do is they hire these judges like uh, Joseph who is Judge Dredd in this movie and they judge you there and then basically uh, on the spot so it's not like you know in terms of uh, police uh, and, and enforcement and he is sent to a place called Aspen Colony and that's pretty much like an academy where Judge Dredd played by Sylvester Stallone he trains up like young really young kids and they uh, most of them or some of them end up becoming judges which is what he does so he's training them up to do what he does basically and um, the villain in this movie uh, called Rico the character is called Rico wow fantastically played this character and it's very hard to get a fantastic overall brilliant phenomenal movie with a really good convincing villain and I think that this villain did a fantastic job and as I say his robot and everything I thought was absolutely super 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 cool and there's no moments in this movie that visually you would sort of go oh gosh that looks a bit sort of uh outdated or oh gosh that looks like but I actually super appreciate it and that's probably why I love things like Evil Dead and things like that but there was a part toward the end when uh, obviously he knows that it's his brother and uh, the, that whole scene with the cloning and everything and uh, I know that that's probably as well why a lot of remind, reminds a lot of people of Demolition Man and they were like uh, earlier I posted a tweet to say just to let you know later on I'm going to be doing this movie Judge Dredd and everybody was like do demolition man because you know the end scene scene kind of thing but you could sort of see like a bit of um like a blood scene but it looked like kind of like tomato ketchup was all over his you know big cool super uh, robot uh, but at the same time I super appreciate that because at the end of the day it's what I'm saying you know practical effects I am a huge fan of uh, practical effects and that's why I love things like Evil Dead and all that sort of stuff Dead Alive and all that which I've also done on Reservoir Friday I mean of course I have guys but yes I think the film is absolutely fantastic very convincing and I think he did a super great job especially for what this movie was back then in this movie Judge Dredd he basically gets uh, framed for a murder and then he's sent to life imprisonment and uh, it's kind of just put me in mind of something I wanted to say to you guys I will definitely do a retro Friday of Total Recall because we're sort of thinking like you know how he was framed sort of thing I'm not saying that this movie's like this but I'm just saying it's an old retro movie too and it just popped into my head there and I meant to say to you all anyways because a couple of people have asked me to do uh, Arnie's Total Recall and I would love to do that because I think it's uh, a super cool movie I cannot do this review without mentioning Rob Snyder who plays Herman in this and I think he was a really cool character to have as a sidekick I suppose you could say with uh, Sylvester Stallone and Rob Snyder I'm sorry I see him as the Adam Sandler guy because I love Adam Sandler I have a ton of his movies and if you're watching an Adam Sandler movie nine times out of ten who is going to pop up guys yes that's correct Rob Snyder is going to pop up sorry guys the lighting kind of went a bit off there but he really makes me laugh I think it's funny at the beginning I always laugh at him because he says to them you're misjudging me like could you imagine actually being in court and standing up and saying to a judge 
I think you're misjudging me. It's absolutely hilarious. But I was talking earlier about uh, one of my favourite scenes. It's like a really cool action scene was when they're on the bike, uh, Herman and Dredd, when they're on his bike. And then they uh, sort of like explode out of the, or come out of a building basically. And then the bike drops and then they're trying to go back up into the air again. And as I say, the city is just absolutely phenomenal. And uh, he's absolutely like, shitting himself and the look on his face he's the guy Herman's absolutely terrified and uh Judge Dredd goes to him Joseph goes to him right here take my gun or wherever or he gives him his gun anyways and he's like it's not doing anything but the look on his face he is just absolutely terrified and visually I am going to tell you something that massively always wows me when I watch this. I just go, it's class. It is so cool, guys. Do you know the scene? It's kind of hard to kind of describe because I'm not good with words. I'm sorry. But you know uh, when they're going through the city and it's sort of like a official advertisement you know, and advertising something. And it's at the bottom and the top and then it's going to close and then they go in between it on the bike. I just think that that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's so many good scenes of those two together. One of them would be the cannibals scene. And I know you all know the part that I'm going to be talking about was the cannibals. Utter classic. They were really hilarious in this movie. <laughs> and obviously they're both tied up. Their arms are wherever with ropes or whatever they used. And he's being all nice to them. Herman's being all friendly because he doesn't want them to eat him. Of course, you know, you don't want a cannibal to eat you. Like, why would you? And he's being all nice. And then he, they let him down. And he's all like, ha, 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 you know, to dread you're still up there kind of thing. And he goes, well, just to let you know, your new friends, they're cannibals. And the look on his face is just one of those utter classic moments. And it's just so funny. But honestly, guys, no matter what I see Rob Snyder in, I'm just looking at him and I'm just thinking Adam Sandler movies. And then straight after that scene with the cannibals that I was talking about, we have literally uh, Joseph J Judge Dredd going complete John Rambo. And if you don't know who John Rambo is, oh my gosh. Rambo, obviously. <laughs> so... That is absolutely cool. He's blowing shit up like crazy, like John Rambo. And I think it's hilarious when Herman goes to him. I can't remember exactly word for word. He says something like, uh, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do now, Dre? And he's like, we're going to go and look for Rico. Because you know the way, obviously, he goes and looks for his brother Rico for the end of the film. And uh, that reminds me, of course, of John Rambo. He's like, well, what are we going to do now, John? And he just looks at him. F him. Like, as in F-U-C-K him. And I actually did a video uh, months ago called, I think it was seven movies that make me rewind, like as in movies that make me always rewind and rewatch something because it's just either so classic or so hilarious. Um, but I think that video was blocked in certain countries or mobile phones or something because, you know, YouTube doesn't like you having any fun. So, yay. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> but yes, overall, this movie, it was ahead of its time. It had fantastic visuals. It has fantastic sentence. The city is absolutely fantastic and definitely the Fifth Element vibes. I will definitely be doing a review of that because I think that movie is absolutely phenomenal. The music really super suited the movie uh, to perfection and it has perfect pacing. I actually don't think I, I got to actually uh, mention that. Um, the music, I think it's like an hour and a half or just over that. But you know the way you don't really count, you know, the intro and the outro of like your music and stuff so i think it's around like an hour and 30 minutes an hour and a half definitely sure of that because i've seen this movie many times so don't exactly really need to clarify that but i'm pretty sure but yes um i just think this movie is absolutely phenomenal and there is a scene that i massively have to give credit before i forget before we sort of finish up here guys because i think of overstate mistake as always but you know the scene at the end where Dredd kills his brother Rico uh, but before that his brother Rico is standing above him and just the whole setting the whole visuals how that was specifically shot I'm talking about just the overall visual kind of deal and uh, he's looking down at Dredd and he's just sort of like hanging on with his arm and um, the how the rain I know it's going to sound really weird but it's something that I've always always really super noticed and appreciate it and it's actually one of my favorite scenes visually how the rain is dropping it's sort of like right Rico standing and the rain is just sort of like trickling down at the front while he's looking down but how they managed to capture that is just super cool and I don't know I just think 
it is very intriguing and it is very very noticeable to the eye it's eye catching that's what i'm trying to say guys that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> anyway it's a visually fantastic scene that's what i'm gonna say when he kills his brother anyhow i really like it <laughs> so overall this movie is just it's a classic and i know it's gonna sound really random but i super loved the black and the gold obviously there's a ton of black and gold throughout this movie of course you know you've got um his outfit and everything is armor and you've also got you know the uh, bikes and everything that the judges use black and gold so the theme of this movie pretty much you know tons of black and golds but um that's why as well guys i actually went to the bother of downloading a black and gold background so there should be like a black and gold uh background behind me so that will explain that hopefully some of you will have noticed that and also i'm wearing a gold headband as well it's actually just gold leaves so i don't know i, I remember that i remembered that i had it and i thought you know what i might actually wear that because my hair is black black jumper gold there you go guys that's how on the ball i am tonight normally not i'm not on the ball anywhere near as much as this thank you so much for everybody for coming along and do not worry because sometimes people come in you know towards the end when i'm finishing up uh, like a, a you know minute as uh, or so as I'm finishing up my uh, premieres. But if you are here and you know you've just got here, do not worry. Once the premiere finishes, it always always goes on forever onto my uh, YouTube channel. Well, forever as long as YouTube lets me stay here, you know, it will stay on my channel. So you know you can always go and check them out. And if you haven't seen some of my other retro Fridays last week, I done Spawn. Uh, I have done many, many retro movies. I've been doing this now for about seven or eight months. So thank you so much, everybody, for supporting this. I really, really enjoy doing it. And I know the people who always come every week really, really do uh, enjoy this. And if you are new to my channel, thank you very much for deciding to uh, subscribe to me. It means a lot to me. You are very welcome. Everyone here, uh, you know, it's very friendly and up for a laugh. You know, I don't tolerate anybody, you know, bullying anybody or anything like that and if you do see anything like that do let me know guys uh so that i can you know delete stuff like that or block things like that because you know i don't want any you know um trolls on the channel so thank you so much guys uh please leave all your comments thoughts and opinions below even if you disagree because my channel isn't one of those channels where if you don't agree you know i just go around blocking people i'm the type of person where i just have my channel for fun and i really enjoy doing this just to let you all know guys it's never ever expected but i do have a paypal account um i've had youtube now for two years next month i've been on here two years come april and i uh, have never made any money i have made zero money from uh youtube itself um but because so many people were asking me i want to support you on patreon blah -de blah i don't have anything like that guys i just don't want to have anything like that but what i did do was because so many people were asking about a year ago or almost a year ago i set up a paypal account so if any of you would like to donate to my channel channel whether it's a dollar whether it's three dollars whether anything never expect it this is not me trying to ask anybody for any money no 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 this is only me saying that because so many people ask me um how can i is there any way i can donate to your channel and people are a wee bit confused so normally on should be like nine times out of ten on most of my videos if you go to any of my videos really you will see you know down in the comment section where the pinned comments are it'll just have like a link to my paypal and you can go there and donate whenever you feel never ever expect it <laughs> but for everyone who has donated i always uh make sure i email every single person back and personally uh thank them via email um so again even though i will have emailed you already to thank you thank you again from the bottom of my heart um but to everyone honestly i appreciate any support whatsoever support is support at the end of the day no one's you know no supports as more superior to the other you know if you like my video if you're watching now if you leave a comment if you share my video if you even pop in once a month thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart that means the world to me and you all support me so don't ever think like oh i feel bad i can't you know support you through paypal 
no 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 you are supporting me and i massively massively appreciate it i i can't i can't say how much you all make me smile you all make my day i'm gonna go now thank you so much i really hope you enjoyed this let me know if you did and don't forget to join me again next friday for another retro fridays bye guys <laughs>